Mm -hmm. Hi, people. It's me again, of course, as always, Andrew Fusual, Moina Ravenberg. Um, I'm going to be discussing meditation, as you could see for yourself, as is always, Andrew, is usually the case. One moment, please. Damn it. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. The ultimate guide to meditation. Let's get down to it. Meditation. When it comes to the occult, it's obvious to anyone moderately knowledgeable on esotericism how important meditation is. Some see it as something vanilla or new age-ish. But when taken seriously, words cannot describe how potent and effective it is. How potent and effective it is when applied correctly at max levels. So here I am to tell and show you, as always, how to do so. The only notable drawback is that doing so requires considerable levels of commitment, devotion, and self-discipline. I therefore respectfully implore anyone to not even think about doing so if you don't want, can't, or are willing to adhere to the aforementioned. Point one or step one, find a quiet place or best equivalent where you can sit or be stationary for an extended amount of time, e.g. an hour. Point two, take five minutes to silence your mind by simply saying to yourself, my mind is silent repeatedly. Mm. Point three, say with meaning, obviously, my mind is free from thoughts, distractions, and related. I am concentrated to the max. My mind is focused like a laser beam. My concentrative powers are at max levels repeatedly for five minutes. Yeah. Prior to point three, do things on the best day and time, which is Tuesday, in both the day and the hour when Mars is at its strongest. Use this calculator to know when that is. So I'm referring to the planetary hours calculator that I use uh, through a hot link. That is all. The benefits will apply overall to your life, not just the occult provided you practice. Um, so yeah, that is, I read from an article that is associated with this video, which you can find as always linked in the description in, of this video. Um, and yeah, what kind of addendums do I have? What kind of additional things do I have to say? Uh, other than the article as always being self-explanatory, things I can add to it is that it speaks for itself um, and <laughs> words can't describe how um, underrated meditation is. People don't get that when you meditate optimally and your intent and your focus is to maximize your concentrative powers, that it's an extreme saying, but it almost makes you superhuman. By default, when you do anything or when you commit to anything, any objective, anything you want to do, you need to be concentrated. Whereas if, if you keep getting distracted or sidetracked by things, then that is detrimental to your cause. When you're busy doing something, for example, you'll obviously notice much better results in terms of something that you're trying to successfully accomplish. Um, when you're literally so focused that it's like, Nothing else matters. You're ignoring and drowning out all the sounds and potential distractions around you. You're like focused at max levels. You want to, for example, um, you need to like write an essay or you need to write like a two page piece on, on something on some subject. You'll see that if you do the aforementioned, then you'll be done in like half an hour. Whereas if you're just casually doing so and you keep like getting up every half an hour to get something to drink or you're just simultaneously chatting with someone that your mind will wander and as a result it might either take longer to finish your essay or similar and it won't be of um, exquisite quality provided that that's what you were going or gunning for um it won't be of as good as quality as is if you were to be concentrated and in the occult this matters like no other because in the occult obviously you're dealing with the spiritual as a main focus so if you're not focused in what you're doing you don't have like a base level focus then you're going to get into trouble your practice won't nearly be as effective as um, it can be like this is one of the most fundamental things you need in in order to be able to practice effectively as a as a as a base prerequisite honestly I mean, it reminds me of um, when I f literally first started out, like Golden Dawn style with Constantinus' book. Um, I forgot what it was called. It was so long ago. In any case, Constantinus' book. Um, and that's one of the base things that he covers in that book, like by default, like a quick um, concentrative exercise, as in you need to be concentrated. You need to be able to like concentrate for like a minute or, or five or so. Otherwise, again, 
if your attention easily wavers, then you're just going to be like all wonky and wobbly. This applies not just to the occult, but and like I'm said in the article, it applies to your life overall. When you do everything I said effectively, because what I put is not like, oh, I'm just going to meditate, like, etc. Let me listen to a YouTube video. No, no, no. What I essentially teach you guys with what I wrote in the article is like heavy duty occult meditation. It's like my Tyson and his prime levels of potency. I mean, if you seriously have the self-discipline to, to follow my instructions and you do so, in like half a year, your concentration will be like brutal, like really. And it doesn't just apply like to the occult, like I said. When you go about daily life, you're driving a car, provided that you drive or you do anything, you'll see that you're capable of doing things a lot better because your level of focus is so intense that you it, it just boosts your being as a whole. It's almost like becoming Superman, but purely hypothetically speaking, within a mundane, realistic context. Uh, now, for those of you that were wondering, why Mars, for example? That's because Mars, in given within given context, rules uh, concentration. Mars, um, specifically, it's underlying zodiac sign, Scorpio, specifically zodiacally Scorpio, uh, hence Mars rules concentration. That's why Scorpio, by default, rules with being determined, never giving up. Um, Scorpio is all about focus, determination, unfettering and unwavering um, focus and, um, and adherency to whatever you need to adhere to. Yeah, Scorpio deals with that. That's why, for example, people that were born under Mercury and Scorpio or people that have penetrating minds, they leave nothing to chance. Everything is like into detail, like, okay, I'm not giving up until I get to the bottom of this, literally and figuratively. Like an excellent placement for people that are detectives or people that do some kind of research work where being as detailed as possible is required. As opposed to someone that, for example, is, is lackluster, for example. Someone that, uh, for example, Mercury and Taurus. Someone like that will have a slow mind and will like have difficulty like reaching a conclusion. Oh, it's like a lazy mind. Just giving an example. Um, astrologically. Let me see. What else did I have to say? Open up. What else did I have to say? So, yeah, you can use the planetary hours calculator, which most of you that are watching me or have followed me or are following me are already familiar with. But still, the hot link is for people that don't know yet. That way, regardless of where you are in the world, you can calculate if you intend on doing this. Uh, and again, remember what I said. If you don't intend on being serious to the max or the fullest, if you think that you're going to approach this casually, then respectfully, don't even don't, don't even bother. Don't even think about bothering. Um, then yeah, in any case, you can use the planetary hours calculator to calculate in your respective location and date, you know, Tuesday when Mars is going to be at its absolute strongest. By default, Mars rules Tuesday, obviously, and in the hour, you'll see the hour when, as in, hey, this is when Mars is at its absolute strongest. That's the best time to do this exercise because you have uh, the concentrative abilities of Scorpio by your side. Um... Oh, yeah. And last but not least, before I go, people might also be wondering, you know, do you do I use it? Or if not, why don't I use it? Why don't I follow my own advice? That's due to a highly I don't I, I can't remember if I already mentioned this in the past. But um, the reason that I don't follow my own advice and I don't follow my own uh, spe specifically only honestly relating to this article and or just subject matter overall whether it's hypothetically or literally. Bottom line is why don't I, in this context, <clears throat> do what I preach, practice what I preach? That's because due to a, an exceptional factor, it's impractical for me to do so. Believe me, I would love nothing less, to put it that way, hypothetically speaking, uh, than to um, raise my concentrative powers like this that states, like I stated here, I mean. But it's not um, practical for me because part of my brilliance requires my my mind to wander so let's just say a lack of focus that might sound negative but that's not the case a hypothetical lack of focus is part of my brilliance in the past i've already tried it but i noticed that my my occult power wanes like it becomes less potent so uh, and it's also intertwined essentially with inner peace i have inner peace i mean compared to years ago but still, I still get like 
my mind on occasion going like a thousand miles a second, no joke, where I have like I'm being bombarded with thoughts, etc. But of course, I can easily manage. I just ignore them because I know which thoughts are valid and invalid and whatnot. With concentrative ability, the likes of which I describe, and uh, inner peace, my mind would be super quiet, like like the ocean uh, when it's low tide, completely quiet, no waves, nothing, completely quiet, like the ocean after a storm, I mean. But um, again, for me, it's impractical. I think around 2021, I briefly tried it, and I immediately stopped because I noticed that essentially, not just my power level, literally just my overall occult power and all the benefits that I reap from it, it just, my whole practice just started waning. And I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, no. No uh, concentration at max levels and inner peace for me. My personality is of such a nature that the drawback of my monstrous power and skill and talent and everything that makes me me, everything that people and the world know me for, is um, linked to a hypothetical and contextual lack of inner peace. So... I need the occasional hypothetical chaos in my head in order to function at max levels the way I do. It's not a big deal to me. Like I said, yeah. it's, uh, it is what it is. So I, back then I was like, oh, okay, no, nope, drop it immediately. No inner peace, no nothing. It's okay, fine. Um, so yeah, that's all. But for those of you, obviously, that for whom this is not an issue, um, because you don't have that aspect of your personality or, I mean, the aforementioned isn't an aspect of your personality and you're essentially good to go, you've got the green light, then by all means and accounts have at it. Um, but before you do so, of course, I would strongly recommend that you check yourself briefly to see exactly um, that there are no highly exceptional exclusionary uh, drawbacks to this exercise to, to just to meditating ultimately the ultimate meditation that's all guys bye bye